Hey everyone, this is an Alcohol Free Life channel where we're learning to live sober one day at a time. My name is Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please hit that subscribe button and slam that like button? I'd really appreciate it. Again, thanks a lot for stopping by. You know, I go to a lot of meetings on Zoom and face to face meetings, and one of the common complaints I hear from newcomers is that their lives have become I just took to, to a standstill or become very boring once they enter into the recovery journey. And you know, I can always relate to that of being severely bored in early recovery. Because let me tell you something, being bored drove me nuts in the beginning of my recovery and it lasted for a few months, maybe one or two to six, seven months. It lasted quite a while. And the reason for this is very very simple it's because in my life and probably your life when i quit the booze it took away a lot of my life probably over 50 percent of my leisure time was devoted to booze easily maybe over 50 percent, maybe 100 percent was related to booze but generally speaking my life came to a grinding stop when i gave up the alcohol because when I gave up the alcohol, a lot of my friends were gone. My excitement in life was gone, going to the bars, dating the women half in the bag, smoking dope. When I went camping, I drank, you know, it made it more fun, more exciting. When I, you know, I was able to dance when I was half in the bag. When I went to my mother's place, everything I did revolved around alcohol. Or if it didn't revolve around alcohol, it revolved around me thinking about the night before, calling up the guys, hey, what do you think of that chick? Yeah, did you have a good time last night? Or thinking about the party coming up on the Friday night or on the Saturday night, you know, during the work week. It was like that. So when we eliminate the booze, and for me, I had drugs too, but mainly alcohol, no wonder our lives are boring. We got away, we took away our biggest excitement tool was alcohol, the social lubricant. And for myself, I took away my best friend. I drank all the time. And when I stopped drinking, life wasn't so chaotic. It wasn't so exciting. I didn't have those hangovers. I wasn't experiencing, you know, that chaos and, you know, going out to the bars and fighting. There was a lot of negative chaos with drinking. There really was. So that's one of the main reasons. And that's what I just want to let you in on, okay? And what do you do about that? What do you do about the boredom? Being bored is sort of the start of a better life, it's the start of your recovery. So let's, let's begin the second part of this video. For starters, I just want to say, there are two things you can do with your boredom. You can A, you can think of yourself as your life went to shit, that you're really bored, there's no excitement, you miss the old way of life, you miss the bar scenes, the girls, all your buddies, and you can start drinking and going back to that lifestyle, because I did that. I did that in my 20s, I think I was 22, 23 years old when I did that. I was still like the excitement, I thought I was immune to the negative results of alcoholism. Boy, was I ever wrong. Or you can do the second thing. You can embrace it. And that's what I did when I was about 30 years old. I embraced my boredom. I said, gee, I am bored. I am bored stiff. I feel down and out. I feel depressed. I get a little anxious. All that sort of stuff because I'm bored. But I embraced it. And I said, I am not going to drink because I feel down and out and bored with my sobriety. So what I simply did is at that time I got a job. I worked six o'clock in the morning to two in the afternoon as in a catering in a cafeteria down here in Ottawa on Laurier Street. So I took up a, quite a bit of my time. And a lot of my downtime I spent in, in meetings, 12 step meetings. Every night I went. On the weekends, I went two to three times. And I also thought to myself in that time in that sobriety, how much did I drink? You know, and maybe you want to think about this. How much did you drink or spend on? thinking about drinking in your week. Me, I probably, well, every pretty waking hour was about the party or 
the night before or having a drink after. So it was a good maybe 20 to 30 hours a week that I had to fill in in dead time. So I involved myself in recovery. I got active. I got involved in recovery, doing a little bit of service work, you know, setting up the meetings, making the coffee, showing up early, that kind of stuff, putting out the literature, just the little stuff, right? Just to make me feel a part of. I also started to go to the gym, get a little bit of exercise, kill some time. I bought a bicycle, play a little guitar, you know, watch some movies, all that kind of stuff to fill in my time. But what I tried to do mostly was build a new life for myself. Because when I stopped the drink, my life stopped and I had no life. You know, alcoholics, generally speaking, when we quit, we become like lazy asses. When we drank, we're kind of like lazy asses because that's all we did was drink and we didn't anything else. We had nothing else in our lives. I don't know about you, but that's a fact for me. So I had to push myself and embrace my new life and force myself to get out and, you know, get away from in front of that television and get out there and do things for myself to have a new life. And it just grew like that. I started dating. I got invited to uh, birthdays and birthday parties. So I actually, actually did get to birthday parties. You know, I get asked to speak in meetings. I got asked uh, to come to people's barbecues and parties at their house. And before you knew it, I had a great big life, but it took some time. Like I said, it took about eight months to a year and a half till I really started to get the hang of it. Cause I really didn't know what the hell I was doing to be honest with you. I drank so much and before I drank, my life was all screwed up. So I really had to work at it. I really had to work at it. I had to reinvent myself in my sobriety. And that's what, exactly what I did. And I continue to do that. I love doing new things in my sobriety. So that's basically how I deal with boredom. And nowadays I have a great big life. I'm, I have a partner and I have a cottage that everybody knows about. I have a house and you know, I have my meetings. I have sponsees. I have lots of stuff going on in my life. And I crave sometimes to have some of that downtime that I can just spend with myself and my loved ones and you know, just enjoy the peace and quiet of it all. And I really look forward to that nowadays. So it's kind of turned a 180 on me. So if you're bored and you're feeling down, embrace your sobriety, participate in your life, build a new life, life as you knew it, does not exist anymore. It really doesn't. It doesn't exist anymore. For alcoholics like me and maybe like you, I don't want to say you're an alcoholic. We gave up a lot of our lives when we stopped the booze. And I know that for sure, okay? So I'm not going to go on and on and on. I'm talking a little too much right now. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? And give me another, <laughs> I'm talking too much, I'm losing my, uh, my uh, train of thought here. And can you please hit that like button, okay? As I always say, stay safe, stay sober. We're in this together one day at a time. I'll see you next week. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Please leave a comment below. And remember, God bless, take it one day at a time, and I'll see you next week. Ciao for now. Bye, bye.